Hello and welcome to the Lux Extravagant Show, the show that you need to watch. So go ahead and subscribe because welcome to Fusion Verse. It's a show where we talk about anime, TV shows, movies, and games. Now go ahead and subscribe already because we're going to be talking about some amazing things and you definitely don't want to miss out on any other videos that I come out with. Now, Today, we are talking about the Video Game Awards, or whatever the whole design was that they had for the Game Awards. Whatever it is, it was very interesting. They had uh, some pretty interesting music playing. Uh, it seemed like it was more of like a fun event, but also kind of formal. However, I will say this, before it started, it was it, it felt kind of lackluster. There, there was, it felt like there wasn't enough being done and it, it just made it very interesting just to see the people that they had on stage as well as well the intro of it the, the beginning of it uh when they were doing the whole the trending gamer before they had this huge kind of uh deal about it when uh when Greg Miller won it, he had this whole speech and he was up there on stage. You know, he had, I guess, very impactful. Then after him, of course, Boogie uh, won it. And, you know, they had, you know, this whole thing. But this time, like, it just kind of felt like they didn't care. It was really strange, just the way they did it. Jeff Keighley was not even directly on the main stage. She was kind of just off to a different stage. Just talking about like, oh yeah, so here are basically the nominees for a trending gamer. Literally a list goes over the names like that, opens it up and just says, oh yeah, it's uh, Dr. Disrespect. And then he literally is off to the side and just walks in and, you know, gives like a short little speech. And it just, it felt lackluster. It felt like there was like nothing to it. As though, like, everyone who already, everyone knew they were going to win. That was, that, that's just what it felt like. I was just like, wait, what? So, like, he's, he's just there? Or, like, like what the hell? There was no kind of, like, you know, work to represent them. Nothing shown, like, a little clip. It's not that difficult to do, people. You can literally insert a little clip. Of their work, you hell. There's compilations of probably their work on YouTube that fans have made. You could have just done that and searched it up and put it up there, but no, there was nothing. I don't even know who some of those people were. I was just like, what? Like, All right, whatever, man. Whatever. This is basically how it was gonna go, and it actually went that way throughout the whole show. It just kind of sped up, and it was really. It was, it was kind of just a lackluster and nothing very impactful about just what was kind of happening. Uh, just The awards kind of just kept on going. It just felt like they were just speeding through it. Now, I know, like, sometimes, you know, they're pressured for time. Like, oh, we only have the menu for this amount of time. But seriously, what the hell? I mean, there was a lot of sponsorships going on. A lot of game developers as well as PC and well, I mean, if you if you didn't see it, there was just so much of that, which obviously you need in order to run this show. This, you know, what you need. But it just felt lackluster. Like it was just kind of something that they just need to get get it over with. Jeff Keighley was he was just there. Honestly, I didn't I didn't see him as enthusiastic about it. It felt like he was just kind of there. Like, yeah, guys. We're able to do this and that, but it just felt like there was no passion, which is sad, you know, because you you need to have passion. If you don't have passion for what you're doing, then maybe it's time to step away from that and reevaluate uh, your position. Think of what it is that you actually want to seek out and go do that instead. Now, that's not to say the whole thing was just like that. No, it was just uh, certain aspects of it. And something that actually stood out to me the most was, uh, 
What's his name? Joseph Fares. Joseph Ferris or Fares. That was freaking amazing. He, he was obviously, you know, had a couple of drinks. He was out there to promote his video game. And holy shit, did he let loose. Oh my god, it was so freaking awesome just to hear him. He's like, fuck Trump. Like, just fuck him, fuck all that bullshit. And just cussing Jeff Keighley was like, he's like, I'm sorry, man, to, you know, to say this, you know, I know it's probably going to get you in trouble, but I, I mean, I have to say it. And he was just going on, he's like, hey, I know a lot of publishers out there are shit, you know. A lot of them fuck up, and he ain't fucked up, you know. But to me, they were actually very helpful, doing a lot of positive things. And it turns out that they're actually going to be getting 100% of the profits. So EA is not going to be, I guess, getting anything at all. So that's really awesome for them. But let's see, hopefully, uh, that it stays that way. Because publishers can just change their mind. Now, it was just, honestly, I, I believe it was just great publicity. Because he just came out with the truth. It's like, hey guys, they fucked up. They all fuck up, you know. But just to let you guys know, there's none of that going on. Like with us, like our game, you know, it's a lot of fun. When it's going to come out, Jeff Keighley kind of just wanted to rush him out. It was getting really awkward. But it was just so fun. He looked like, honestly, he was just having a blast. And that to me is honestly, well, I, I kind of wanted the Video Game Awards to be more about just kind of these developers or uh, these just these iconic individuals, these, uh, I guess, these creators, uh, these people that play video games as well, as well, because Funhouse was there, you know, Dr. Disrespect. I'm not sure who else was there. They kind of didn't really, I guess, go too much to the crowd, maybe in some instances, but I couldn't, I didn't really know who the hell, you know, <laughs> like any of those people were. When they saw Funhouse, I was like, oh yeah, cool. Uh, it was Elise, James, and Adam. Freaking awesome. But other than that, I didn't really see anyone else that I kind of knew in the crowd. Uh, but, yeah, it, the the Video Game Awards was very interesting. But it just, it felt like there, there was something that it was lacking. I don't know. Maybe it was just the YouTube content creators that, I guess, that I watched that weren't, weren't really... Like I guess up there, it was. It would have been very interesting to see these these people that play all these video games to kind of be up there and say, "Hey, like you know, it's like because they know who they are. This is like the whole industry." But instead, they have like actors. Uh, they had, of course, uh, some game developers. Uh, of course, they had Guillermo del Toro, which was freaking awesome. But it, it felt like there was just something. I don't know, some, something felt off. But, hey, uh, it was actually, an, I believe, an improvement over, I guess, the last couple of years of everything that's been going on. Uh, but yeah, hey, they put on a show. It was uh, pretty entertaining. It was great to see uh, certain trailers. There was just a lot of Warframe. They really wanted to get the whole Warframe aspect of the game out there. And, I mean, they paid off, I guess. I mean, it's out there. You can get it. It's free. However, I think for, like, some DLC thing or whatever, you have to pay a certain price, like 30 bucks maybe. But it was all out there for everyone. There are a bunch of other things announced, but it didn't just feel like anything too big. The whole Kojima thing about the game, Death Stranding, about it being released, or, I guess, it's a... I guess more of what the game is. Honestly, I still kind of don't really know what the game is or what's it gonna be like. If it's gonna be like this whole open world, but I'm guessing you're basically Norman Reedus's character, and you have a baby inside you. And I guess something happened to women. Women are gone, or maybe that's a, a woman inside of him, female baby. Who knows? But yeah, that was kind of just my opinion of what exactly happened during the Video Game Awards. And I think it could definitely improve more and keep improving uh, over the course of the years. As time goes by. But remember, just because they gave certain awards to certain games doesn't mean that they're necessarily better than other ones. There's still people who believe, hey, this game should have won this or this other game should have won that. And... I 
on top of that, though, a lot of the just game awards, like the announcements and everything, who won, kind of just sped up. It it just felt like you kind of forgot or didn't know exactly, wait, what is this category? Who won this? Or who is going for what? It just felt like, oh, hey, this is your winner for this. You're like, wait, what, what, what category was this? They didn't really have, like, it, like, it's literally just put a graphic up there. You know how I put graphics down there? Yeah, it's, it's that easy. But, hey, you know, who knows what's been going on, exactly what's happening there. But, yeah, it's it's not that bad. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Visit my Patreon uh, to show some support. I have some awesome rewards. A dollar tier. I mean, you could you know, possibly get a reaction video out of me for a dollar. Did I power myself out? Eh, whatever. But yeah, you get some awesome stuff. All the details are there. Links are right there. Subscribe and all that. Patreon, more videos right there. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Another exciting episode of Fusionverse. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be having like almost 300 videos. Holy